Hey, Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. Quick tip for you to have great stall recoveries. First, it's the recognition that stall recovery is 100% a function of angle of attack reduction and not thrust application. Let me simplify this. If you're training in a 737, an A320, or really any aircraft of that matter, but particularly an underwing mounted engine, thrust application results in nose up tendency. This means if we revert to what we've been historically taught from private pilot training 101, you've probably heard an instructor say, power your way out of the stall, meaning apply the thrust. I just want you to understand the thrust application is utilized for altitude loss minimalization, but it is not what actually recovers you from the stall. The real recovery or with the mechanism by which you're recovering is reducing angle of attack. Now, if I'm pitched up like such, I can actually reduce my angle of attack without adding any thrust at all. And if I don't add any thrust, and at the very least, I reduce my angle of attack, I will recover from the stall, and I will furthermore ensure that you don't get a secondary stall, or at the very least, you'll reduce the likelihood of getting a secondary stall, because if you didn't know, underwing mounted engines, as I already said, bring the nose up, which could put you into a secondary stall, which is ultimately what we're trying not to do when we're training transport category jet stall recovery, or really any stall recovery when you're going through your type rating training, all right? So we have a whole video program on this. I explain in detail pitch attitudes, thrust application, what to do, what not to do. Obviously, we do have a need for thrust, particularly low altitude. I just want you to understand we're using thrust not to recover from the stall. We're using thrust to reduce the altitude loss in the recovery. But when we do training with you in person, you'll find low and high altitude stalls. We demo them with thrust and without thrust, and you'll see how you can recover perfectly from them, but what the variances are when we use thrust. In the videos, we talk all about that. In the EET segment, we talk about that. In the sim briefing, we talk about that. And if you come here in person to our academy, we're gonna talk to you about that. Joe Munoz and Juan Dominguez, your friends and training program success folks here at OneStepPrep.com. It's the number one. We can train you in the 320. We'll train you on the 73. We got 767 coming out. February 14th is the day, onestepprep.com forward slash B767. Oh, by the way, maybe you're an instructor and you want to get AX3 certified, which all that means is become a very highly effective, connective communicator and engaging instructor, ax3certification.com forward slash enroll. We look forward to working with you. Joe Munoz, Juan Dominguez, your friends and training program success. We'll see you in another video.